appreciate it. Just we're just going to take it down, right down to a language that everybody here can easily understand. Zen the fuck out. Uh, welcome back. Sorry for the technical issues. I think we got them figured out. Uh, Sandy Plaskis from Owner's Box and uh, Christian Gaines from DeanBlundell.com and Owner's Box joins us. Owner'sBox.com, of course, uh, the weekly fantasy sports platform. It is the premier weekly fantasy sports platform. It is one of the. It is the best weekly fantasy sports platform. Is going to eat the world alive. Go get your account now. Um, we've got lots to get to. By the way, thanks to our friends at Blue Microphones, another one of our sponsors. Blue Microphones, the best microphone on the planet. Enter the show us your pod contest today at deanblundell.com. Um, boys, sorry uh, for the quick little uh, l- l- little break there. We I think we've figured it out. Unless we hear from people that tell us I've fucked that up too, but I don't think we will. Um, I wanted to start with why Sandy, because last week we were all together, Sandy was going nuts, and you were getting into the history of your betting lifestyle. You were talking about how your dad forced you to watch Packers and Dodgers games, and all of a sudden you got this fucking spike of 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 gambling like um, endorphins in in like your senior year. So like I, because I've never seen anybody go uh, not cold, but like you know. It was almost like someone was watching the surgery of a loved one. <laughs> Perfect. So, what? Where do you? Where does this come from? Like, is it, it when when you found like sports betting, sports gambling? Did you like? Did you basically just go, "Oh my God, there's a whole world out there I wasn't aware of." Yeah, yeah. You know, honestly, looking at it, like looking back in history from my time when I started sports betting, it was. You know, I was always a big sports fan, you know, my Packers, my Lakers, my Dodgers, obviously I'd watch every game regardless if I was betting on it or not. But my, you know, my freshman year of college was really when I got into sports betting. Um, You know, a lot of my roommates were all already doing it. And at the time I was definitely a rookie in the game. But, you know, from the time I placed my first bet, I was like, holy shit, this is an experience that I've never felt before that makes watching sports that much more interesting. Like I can't, like, I can't even fathom the experience unless you've been through it. Like, it's one of those things where you can't even get up off the couch or leave the TV when you have money on the game. Or maybe that's just me, but that's how I feel. Like, I watched my Packers last weekend, Dean, when you guys were up here. I've never I seen had the house like on it. them, unfortunately, yeah. when they lost the Vikings. So you could tell I was obviously very, very upset um, yeah. with what was happening on the TV. And it almost ruined my day. But that said, you know, I like to spread my money out a lot of different games and that's how you, you know, bounce back. You lose some, you win some, but the end of it all, you know, sports betting is the best experience when you're watching sports in the game. And I, I I love it. Yeah. Uh, Is, is uh, going back to that first bet. Do you remember the first bet you made where you're like, Oh my fucking God. I just won 80 bucks or 40 bucks. Oh my God. I had a full slate. (laughs) Okay. Oh yeah. I had a parlay. I had the first half. Of course, I'm a I'm a I'm a database of betting, Dean. I don't forget my bets, but my first bet of that day was the first half over in the Packers money line, which was a nice little cash to start the day. That was the only bet I won in the game, though. Unfortunately, the Packers laid an egg. Uh, it was like 50 to win. It's like 97, I think, around that number. It was 50 to win, like almost 100, basically, and the payout was great. Um, I don't do a lot of parlaying, though, to be honest, in the NFL. You know me if you, you know, read my article on your site or follow me on Twitter. I'm a, I'm a big teaser guy, and, you know, I'll bet some over-unders as well. But, you know, the money the money to be made is, you know, when you're, ma- when you're placing those teasers. So that's, that's my bread and butter. But it's always nice to sprinkle a value parlay in there every once in a while. I love the speak, okay? the value, sprinkle a little value parlay in there. That's the part of that, like, like getting involved with you guys and start, starting to, down the fantasy road and betting on football again. That's the part that I have a hard time bringing myself to do is the lingo because I don't want to appear like I'm fuck. Oh, I've got like a couple of months into fantasy. I've been betting on football for a long time, but like I don't want to come off and go sprinkle a dash here or shove your bones in there. I got the, the lingo. You know what I mean? Like I, you're going to have to teach me the lingo too. And, and, and sort of not to sound like a fucking old guy when I'm doing it. That's what I don't want to sound. Like. I don't want to sound like some old prick. Going, <laughs> yeah, I mean, sprinkle a sprinkle a little disease on this game over here. <laughs> no, I I felt like you just got the experience. I think that was the first time you've seen you know younger guys doing sports betting. We had our interns there. We had some of our other team members there, and every single person in the room had money on the line somewhere, whether it was the Packers game or the other you know one o'clock state. It was just you know action all around, and that's the best part about NFL Sundays is you might lose a bet on one game but you, you sure as hell know that you have bets across the board elsewhere that are possibly winners. So that's what keeps you going. That's what keeps the energy up. And you saw that firsthand. And obviously that's just a regular Sunday for me, Dean. I mean, I do that. I, I ignore everyone on Sundays. Awesome. I sit in front of my TV. 
and I just rip sports betting. That's that's what I love to do. Do you ever do you ever like get phone Way calls from it. your parents in the middle of your Sunday and just ignore the call because you're putting in a, a bet and you got to get your fucking money in? No, my actually exactly the well if it's my mom i definitely double tap the ignore button but if it's my dad um he's an absolute beauty he's one of a kind he calls me every sunday at around like you know 12 30 eastern time ask me what my slate is for the day um he always you know he's a he never was into sports betting he's not a better at all so i didn't get it from him but he understands sports betting through my brother through myself who do it all the time mm -hmm. and he's you know he loves hearing our bets he always is voting for us so it's a fun little you know sunday tradition to call my dad and let him know what i got and it's usually working out for me so far this year's been great um and i call him every sunday so i think it's kind of you know good luck for me so i'm gonna keep doing that are you plus side this year are you okay you doing all right yeah. should we should we be following oh Sandy i mean this is advice every single sunday well, as this is what I say, I mean, you know, no one's ex, no one's an, a perfect expert that will pick just winners all the time. That said, I have been on a tear lately. Um, I'm 16 and seven in teasers this year, and I'm also 18 and six in my regular best that I do through our owners box podcast. So I'm on an absolute heater this year. Um, I've had bad days. Don't get me wrong, Dean. I've had real bad days, but my, you know, the motto I live by is you can't end a cold streak sitting on the sidelines. And I truly believe that. And that's, that's the way I bet is, you know, always keep it within means, but don't sit out any time to make money. There's always opportunities out there. Yeah. But, you know, and also to add on, dude, if, when you're betting, you, you don't, you don't lose a, you're not a loser when you're betting until you quit betting. So you, you're just exactly point. You got to keep going and you're never a loser. <laughs> that's the same that's spoken word. That's, Boys. that's the sports, but that's the sports betting Bible right there. there that, you, you know what that is? That's like the same kind of, same kind of thread of, of principle that, that that's behind the old saying, um, you, you're not, you, you know, you're, you're just a heavy drinker. Alcoholics quit. Like it's the same thing, right? And I love that. <laughs> I, I, I love, I love it. That's great. <laughs> yeah. It's a, you know, quitters don't quit. Um, so, and, and our guys, when they're like, I should stop smoking. I'm not a quitter. Like that kind of stuff. It's the same thing. But but it's true because like when you get that, and, and I can only speak to it for the last couple of weeks. We'll do a draft here in a minute. Um, but Gange, you, you know what it's like to be in a room with this guy, right? You know, and, oh, yeah. and then you add, oh, yeah. you add a couple guys his age, but with significantly less stature and money. <laughs> To the mix in Avery, <laughs> in Avery and uh, in, in Avery and Rocher, and and then I'm watching him last week. Same thing. He's Facetiming you, and you guys are like going at it. You're drawing each other. You're fucking giving it to each other on the on the on the Facetime. Um, what's it like to be in a room with him? When because because that was work. I mean, he had to kind of fucking tone it down a little bit for us. What's it like to be in a room with him when there's no cameras on and he's got the house on a Sunday? Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I did tune in every a little bit during that stream, and yeah. it's funny because it just ri reminds me of so many Sundays spent at Sandy's house back yeah. in San Diego, where we'd all just have a ridiculous slate. And it's safe to say Sandy had his emotions that day, but it's probably times ten, times a hundred, whatever you want to do when it's just uh, the boys with no cameras. Oh so yeah, everyone's got everyone has that big slate. And I think normally when we're all together, we try and bet the same stuff, but it's definitely even yeah. better when we on, we're on different sides of a bet too. And just a lot of fuck you is a lot of. Friendship basically get burned for a couple hours, and then we see what happens. And then, hey, Gage. win or you lose, you move on to the next one. Gage, I think this is the perfect time. Dean, you, yeah. you really don't know Christian to and through because he is a sports <laughs> better, but – there was one very legendary moment in Christian's career, and I want you to talk about it since you're in your USC uniform. Christian got on barstool betting for losing the oh, worst no. bet ever. He was like, in, <laughs> he was like face palming the whole, you know, emotions through the roof. Gange, can you just talk us through that situation and how you blew up with that? Yeah, man. So it was my senior year, and at USC, it's always a big event. When we play either Stanford or Cal Berkeley, everyone mm -hmm. goes up to San Francisco. But um, me and my friends, we didn't get tickets, so we were just out of house. And Little, I did not know this, but I, so I obviously I had money on USC and one of my buddy's girlfriends was filming me the entire game and put together a little collage of me just losing it, like hand, facing <laughs> or hands in the face, just losing my mind. Um, USC lost, I think I was like 21 to three or 21 nothing. Like it was an awful, awful game to watch. And yeah. she goes, yeah, she shared it to uh, the Barstool accounts and they featured me. And I think I had like three and a half million views. Uh, people look at that. I got it's just people fucking feeling sorry people for yourself because you were losing your mind because you were betting pretty, pretty much. It, it was funny. The, the yeah, like forty bucks too. Like it's not like back in college I had any money to really throw down, but forty bucks is everything to me at the time. But yeah, that was a that was a surreal moment to have people commenting all about me. And it's funny because most of the comments were people being like tagging their friends, like this is you, like this is you. 
just mm. everyone's had that moment. Hey, can I ask you a question? We got some, and I, and I want to get to it because I want to get to this draft, but USC is back this weekend. Um, and yes, I've never, I've never, <laughs> sorry, NFL, sorry, uh, college football is back this weekend. Pardon me. Uh, in the United States. And, and uh, if there's something that makes people crazier than the NFL, it's college football, like nuts. People are, uh, it, we don't see that up here in Canada, right? Like it's, you guys live and breathe it. It's in your DNA. Your alma mater is like, might as well just be another fucking family member down there. Like that's how fucking people, seriously, people take where they're from, colleges they went to. It shapes their lives and their friendships and their business interests forever. People don't really realize that here in Canada because you go to, you go to, you know, a trade school and then you're a plumber. That's what we do here. <laughs> but, um, Take me through this yeah, because because we've different. had a fucking long layoff for college football uh, in a couple of different conferences. Take me through really quickly what's going on this weekend with college football and what you're looking forward to. Yeah, man. So college football, I think it did kick off back in mid-September for some yeah. conferences. But USC is obviously in the Pac-12. With Larry Scott is our commissioner, who is the worst commissioner in any sport, any league. The guy is just – he has no idea what he's doing. Yeah. But, this Saturday, the Pac-12 kicks off. So for me, it's I'm now paying attention to college football. I didn't place a bet, didn't watch a game until USC was back. But we kick off against Arizona State tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time for me, so 12 p.m. Eastern. And we're 11-point favorites, and I'm feeling good about the USC season because as 11-point favorites, this is supposed to be our closest game on the, on the schedule this week. So I think we get by Arizona State as we should, then USC could slowly be coming back to being a national powerhouse if they were back when my guy Matt Liner was, you know, was back there playing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, it yeah. went back when Matt Liner played. I always loved him because he that was like, a long he time had ago, so it's been a so drought. Good. He was so good in college, and he was so fucking good looking, and he was such a great prospect, and then he became nothing. Like, he never even fucking, never even I'm, had a shot. No argument there, but I don't give a shit. He won won a couple of natties at USC, and I'm a USC fan, not an Arizona Cardinal fan, so yeah, okay, that's fine good. with me. <laughs> all right, he got, he got all the good good stuff out when I cared. Um, is it? Uh, are you going to the game? Are are people even allowed in these games? No, no, no. So obviously in California, no one's allowed in the stadium. Right. So it is played at USC. Um, I got a bunch of my college buddies in town, so we got a little watch party prepped to uh, bright and early on Saturday morning. Dude, why it. don't you turn a fucking camera on that? Let's film this stuff. Let's film this stuff and put get another you know, three million views on your favorite uh, favorite Twitter channel. Happy to. There's no reason hey, why I you mean, shouldn't. The one time I got out there is three million, so <laughs> yeah, I'll, I already placed my bet for tomorrow. So I'll be, <laughs> and it's eleven points. And USC is notorious for not covering the spread, so I'm already worried with that bet. I think I texted Sandy that it feels good to bet with my heart and not my head again because um, I know it's a terrible line. But. I got to interject here quickly about this game, Arizona State versus USC. Shout out my boy, my boy Ob Chen on the on the college corner this week. He loves Arizona State spread, and I'm actually riding that to the bank. Games, I love you, man. But oh, of I'm, course you I'm are. taking Arizona. Shout out Ob Chen for that pick, and we're gonna we're gonna cash that. So we'll be. Gage and I'll be going back and forth uh, uh, tomorrow with some some energy for sure. Yeah, Avery Absolutely. had the college football corner uh, piece. You can go to uh, at owners box on Twitter or at it's deanblundell.com on Twitter and check it out. It's actually pretty funny because his greasy mustache is sort of coming back in. Um, and he does like a little college corner pick. And then he shotguns a beer at the end of this. One of those beautiful land shark beers. He shotguns a beer. And last week I got my intro to Chenner and his just in the one o'clocks. Like it was what three o'clock when we started talking about his beer consumption because he opened a beer with his teeth and I'm like that's impressive and then someone says to him hey dude how many beers is that he's like thirteen and yeah. then and then he goes so one of those fourteen because he just he had killed the thirteenth and then hammered the fourteenth and unfortunately we had we had to leave but fuck dude I have never in my life seen anybody drink a beer that fast in my life is he. Dean- He's not, Dude, he's not even light beer, is it, Sandy? Like he's having no. like some well, real. Like, he was having Miller lights right? last weekend. He, I oh, mean, God. he's kind of what we call a Swiss Army knife. He'll drink, you know, whatever's in front of him. But the best part about Avery is the kid. He won't talk about what he's doing. You'll just, you know, he'll sit in his corner. He'll have money on the line, and he'll have his fucking cooler of beers. And if you're not watching him directly, you might not even know he had 13 beers. But you know, he started. He drank 13 beers from the one o'clock start to the end of the end of the one o'clock game. So around yeah. four o'clock, he had 13 beers and not one word from him. He's like, oh, he, he never introduced like, oh, this is my 12th beer. This is my 13th no beer. Did. He just drinks. 
and just does it does his job. You know, in the wise words of Bill that. Belichick, it does his job. And you know, part of the intern, you know, part of the intern requirement at owner's box, you should be able to chug beers pretty, you know, at a yeah. pretty substantial rate. So he, you know, checks all the boxes there. Um, and you know, he's a great guy on on the college picks as well. So he's he's doing things right around here. Yeah, no, he's 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 great. And that was the fucking cra- crazy part, like you know, watching everybody sit around working on Sunday and endorsing the drinking of thirteen to fourteen beers uh, for the one o'clock. And it wasn't just endorsing; it was like we were all impressed. I was like, "Wow, that's really incredible! Congratulations!" I felt like I should have fucking given him an award because I've never seen that before. And he's right; he's like the silent assassin. He just sat there, as Sandy pointed out last week, just deleting beers, and no one knew. Like nobody knew that it was. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't publicize it. It's unreal. Actually, I've never seen. Usually, like the loud guy in the room. Like I had a roommate at university who could drink beers like even faster than fucking Avery can. But he would publicize. He'd be like, "Oh, this is my tenth beer." Like he would let people know. The good thing about Avery, he just does it. He just does his job and just drinks beers and just has a good time, places some bets, and just brings a good energy. That's what we love here. Yeah, love that. He he doesn't need the recognition, man. The man's just like he's like your offensive lineman there, just you know. Doing it, making everyone else look good. Exactly. Uh, can I get some? That's a great. Comparison. Can I get some bets? Because yeah, yeah, Sandy, your week nine best bets are, are in. Uh, week nine is here. Um, as as you point out here, and yeah, I love the fact that you uh, you low key these intros. I'm ready to print money and hand out some winners to all of you, Sandy. So he's ready to fucking print that money. So give me your give me some picks that you as you put them out in uh, at dblundell.com. Yep. So my picks this week, you know, coming off last week, I, you know, I had a lot of haters last week, Dean. And, you know, I love the hate because I usually fade the public on a lot of lines. So last week, Gange, sorry to admit this, I, I faded the Rams and I took the Dolphins. Um, and they, you know, everyone let me know. I had like three or four YouTube comments. I had a couple Instagram chirps. Um, we love it. That's what we're all, I mean, yeah, I people were, trash. people didn't love the Dolphins pick. They ended up covering by a million and, you know, I printed money. So the Seahawks were another example last week, easy winner. So I'm back this week with my week nine best bets. And I have three of them for you guys. Mm-hmm. My first one is the Titans minus five and a half this week against the bears. I like that the one. bears are the fakest news in the league. I'll say it again. The fakest news in the league. People are starting to realize it. The bears will play well in the beginning of the season, but we know we see right through it. I think Nick Foles is a clown. Um, he gets too much credit for that. You know, he won the Super Bowl. Great. But we're living in 2020. Let's forget the I'm past just, and focus Sandy. on what's happening now. Sandy, you don't think the Titans are like equally as fake news as the Bears, though? Like, that's my no, the Titans, there. dude. I think, I think the, the Titans, Titans there's value. Lots. I think the Titans win by seven plus this week. No okay. problem. Um, so that's why I took them. And then my second pick, this is definitely one of, you know, last week, the dolphins were my unpopular this is ballsy pick, pick of the week. This is, this is my week nine unpopular pick, pick of the week. Colts. Indianapolis no. Colts plus three against the Baltimore Ravens. I love this play. I again, Why? haters, let me know. But I, I'm here again to Explain say this is my unpopular I'll pick tell of the you week. This right now, I dude, like the from Colts. The outside in, it looks like you're nuts. It looks like you don't know what you're doing. It looks like you're trying to fuck everybody over. It looks like you're playing a joke on Joe Q. Public Splash. Also, also, Sandy, I don't know what your book's saying. I'm seeing it now, and it, the line's gone down to Colts plus one and a half. So apparently, the public's yeah. on your side and moving that line. Yeah. So, yeah, that's actually true because what we do when we do our in the box, we record on Tuesdays. So I get the Tuesday line. So I always yep. bet those early. Um, last Hard. week, it didn't work in my favor with the Packers line swinging, but this this game specifically did. Um, and I actually, you know, I'm pretty happy at plus three. I would take it even at even. Like, I think this game will be a, the Colts will take it um, against Baltimore. I really do. Why? Um, they're a really solid team. They're at five and two this year. Super silent, super silently at five and two. They won by 20. They won by 21 last week, I believe. Um, they played a great game They're, they, they, they control the ball. Um, I like their defense, Darius Leonard's back in full strength. He's playing well. Um, you know, I love, you know, I just love their offense too. I'm not a huge Phil rivers guy, to be honest, Gange. I, I know you're kind of a Phil guy, but I like the Colts all around in this spot. And I think the Ravens are going to be overvalued as they were last week against the Steelers completely overvalued. So I like the Colts out. here. And I also like the Publix on the Ravens. Okay. Watch that now. Lamar's going to play good. And the Colts will put up a 43 burger and win and then cover the spread. <laughs> but that's my second pick. And then my third pick of the week, which I do really like the Seahawks bills over 54 points. Um, the game's in Buffalo, you know, you know, Josh Allen hasn't thrown a touchdown in two straight games, even though he started the season off throwing two and two touchdowns in each of his games. I love a bounce back performance from Josh Allen. I actually said he was my fantasy player of the week or my projected player of the week for week nine. Um, I obviously, you know, you know what Russell Wilson's going to do. He's going to put up points. Uh, that offense is great. The Seahawks defense is one of the worst in the league. Def- one of the worst defensive f- efficiency ratings, all that shit. So I'm taking the over. Here. I love this spot though. Titans minus five and a half Colts plus three and Seahawks bills over 54 are my three plays of the week. 
Um, do you guys have like a, a standard over under that you that you're like I fucking like that, or is it all matchup driven? Um, it's it, well, it, I'd say matchups. Yeah, matchup driven. I mean, you got to be a numbers guy. If, if you're gonna be jumping around the board, you got to look at the matchups. You got to look at the you know who's hot, who's cold. You know how? To, hey, if it's an outdoor game, does you know like a, a guy like Drew Brees doesn't play as good in outdoor stadiums. Like a Matt Ryan plays like shit in outdoor stadiums. Take the under. Like I'm leaning under in those. But I'm saying in this game, you know, I like the Seahawks playing cold weather. They play in rain. They play in weather. The Bills obviously do the same. So I like points here at 54. I would expect this to be around 58 if I had to guess. So I think 54 is a low number in this one, and I'm absolutely hammering it. Mm-hmm. I would too. I, I I like all those bets. Maybe it's just because oh of the Colts. Like the Colts are like, um, like you said, silent, sneaky. I like haven't heard anything from the Colts or about the Colts all year long because it was just, you know, it's a fill. Fuck off. So Philip Rivers, do you guys ever uh, tell your computer or Alexa to fuck off? By the way, do you guys ever do that? Yeah, I tell Siri that all the time. <laughs> Yesterday, I had a phone call and Alexa. Well, I was using, I was playing a song or just listening to music while I was working, and uh, so I'm working, I'm trying to hit send on a post, and then Alexa's playing music. My phone went off, and as I'm answering the phone, I turn around and went, "Alexa, for fuck's sakes!" <laughs> I I don't even know why. Oh, well, there you go. Alexis, uh, talking. <laughs> okay, we're talking booze. Like, she's firing today. Hell yeah, Alexis ready she's to have a Friday. Firing. She wants a Friday energy. She's getting it up. I love it. <laughs> See, shout out. Uh, anyway, um, I like those picks, and like I said, uh, the, the Colts just sneaky business, right? Like I haven't seen a bunch of Colts on TV either. I, I don't know if they played any even primetime games. I don't even know if they have. They may have, may not have. But um, what about you? Gange, what do you like this weekend? Are you are you all in? Did Sandy did Sandy like uh, change your mind on the on the Colts Ravens? I mean, Colts Ravens, I, I I get. I actually like the Colts. So Philip Rivers is my guy. So yep, the Colts win. Out. That's good for me. I disagree with the pick, but not. I'm not too passionate about it. Um, I got some. I got different picks actually. So I got, got my three. The first one that I think is my best pick. It's actually in college. So Pac-12. We got Oregon minus nine against Stanford. Mm-hmm. I think that I think Oregon's going to blow them out. I think a lot of people are seeing Oregon losing Justin Herbert, but they still have so much talent there. And being a USC fan, I've watched them just steal recruits from us over the past few years. So they got a hell of a lineup there. So I'd, I'd hammer Oregon minus nine. And then moving to the NFL, my best NFL pick, I'm going to go with the Texans minus seven against the Jaguars. So that's more of my hate on the Jaguars and the Texans, but the, so with the Jaguars are starting this guy, Jake Luton or Luton. He was uh he's a rookie six round pick from Oregon state. And I think they, I think Jaguars are throwing in the towel really like this guy, like he was good at Oregon state, but it's Oregon state. Like they're nothing. So I think the Texans, you know, they're still a good team despite their record talent wise. I think, and now that Bill O'Brien's gone, I would hammer the Texans minus seven. And I think they win by three scores, honestly. And then my other Wait, best before bet, you go there, Gange, I'm going to personally back you on that Texans play. I love that play. Yeah. I might, play, I, I might deem, God forbid, I actually might log into my sports book right now and bet it because I love it that much. Gange, I'm with you, man. I'm with yeah. You. Like, I think that spread should realistically be like 13 and a half and it's seven. So hammer it, maybe tease it to like the Jaguars. They're, they're trash. A quick, um, quick question before then, you yeah, continue. Third and final pick that I love. Hang on. Hit just me, just a quick question before you continue. Is it Jaguars or Jaguars? Uh, just was wondering for the listener. Jaguars? Jaguars. Jaguars. You Canadians, Dean. We had a so you guys say yeah, Jag- this no, thing. No, Our you guys Canadians are pronounce it Jag Jaguars. No. Let me give my let me give my Canadian <laughs> pronunciation. The Jaguars. No, it's the That's Jaguars. The Jags. It's the Jaguars. It's not the Jaguars. <laughs> it's it, it's like the, the way you guys say sorry. It's the same thing. It's like there's no A in sorry. It's sorry. Sorry about that. Like, right? Sorry. No, it's not sorry. Oh my God. It's, sorry. It's that sorry. makes my ears bleed, Dean. It no, it is. It's sorry. God, it's it's, it's hockey. It's not hockey, right? It's just I'm just helping out. <laughs> I'm just helping. Sorry. Continue. You're uh, where where are you at? You, you got lessons. a couple more for me. One or two. Yeah. So so I got Oregon minus nine. Yep. I got the Texans minus seven, and then I got the Las Vegas Raiders. I think I see them at plus a half right now against the uh, LA Chargers. Yes, I hate the LA Chargers, but I do think the Raiders. I mean, I'll be open there. I mean, if you've seen the Chargers in the past four weeks, they're the first team to blow four straight 16 point leads. So they won one of the games, but first team in NFL history to blow those leads. They're a dumpster fire. Um, they just traded away one of their top corners for some six round pick. So I think they're throwing in the towel. And I think the Raiders are a sneaky team to uh, actually be a playoff team. 
So <laughs> a plus a half, it's obviously a money line pick. So I, I'm going to hammer the Raiders as well. Awesome. I love those picks. I love the Texans pick too. I'm with uh, I'm with Sandy. I'm, I might dust off my uh, wallet this weekend. Put some money on that as well. Uh, can, <laughs> can we get to a? Can we? I want to do an owner's box draft. Can we do that? Can we do that real quick? Do we have? Yeah, the, we can uh, do that right now. Do we have the capability to do that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because listen, um, what I wanted to show everybody was how how easy this is. Now you see Drew Brees up there. My boy Drew Brees, um, he's the spokesperson for uh, Owner's Box Fantasy Sports. Go to ownersbox.com or go to deemlundell.com right now. Uh, what you want to do, this is really simple. Uh, th- this is the easiest way you can dip your foot into the fantasy uh, sports arena. It's, I, I can't explain it uh, any better than that because there's no messing around. Uh, you don't have to keep track of shit because they do everything for you. They inform you with, uh, as you've pointed out here, you got the feed. You can see what's going on with individual players, how players are playing. It's all in real time. But explain the dashboard to me and explain, Sandy, uh, what this is, and, and then we'll get into the actual draft. So the dashboard, so this is actually a great place to start. You know, a lot of fantasy platforms, they do a great job, you know, with their different contest types and all that stuff. And, right. you know, the dailies, like your DraftKings and FanDuel's, they let you enter in multiple contests. <laughs> but what they really leave out is the fact that you can, you know, manage multiple leagues at once. So our idea with the dashboard is basically to be the one-stop place on the platform where you can get all the player news you need, all your, you know, anything update injury-wise will be here. All your contests, as you see in your active contest right there, if you're in 10 contests, you'll see 10 there. And we have the trend line, as you can see, um, that will show you how you're performing, um, as well as the scoreboard there and how many moves and swaps you have left. So this is basically the screen where you can, you know, live most of the time. You know, if you're sitting on your couch on Sundays and you got five contests going, I'm on the dashboard the whole time. Live updating, we've got live scoring in there as well. And if you actually refresh your page, Gene, quickly refresh your page for me refreshing we actually just implemented this as 15 seconds ago no joke we added the box score at the top which is fucking sick oh this is gonna be the fuck I'm, I'm telling you i my our lead dev kevin shout out my guy oh, he's fucking doing this he's doing the great work he just put this in right now this is gonna be what we are dean you know we're not just a fantasy platform we have the, the most diverse backend system that can drive so much sports information to a platform. We're just getting started, and this is the first step. We want to be the one-stop shop for fantasy games, for fantasy analysis, and any news you need. So this is our big first step towards that. Um, but as you can see, the dashboard, there's so many different things on here that help you you know, manage your team, track your players that you have on your team, all that kind of great stuff. So that's the dashboard in a nutshell for you guys. Uh, that's awesome. I had no idea. I didn't see the box scores. And uh, You guys literally did that in the time that we were talking. You managed to get all the box scores at the top. Like, is it going to be a live ticker box score where you're in your dashboard? You can actually follow games that are live? Is that the, is that the deal? Cr- Correct. And actually, we've been working on this uh, under the radar for a couple of weeks now, but this is kind of our bread and butters. We were actually previously, as you know, you worked with Brian and Brad back in, you know, 20, 20, 2014 to 2017. You knew what we were. We are a diverse sports information app that was the, one of the first to do push notifications for fantasy. So we have a huge system that can deliver information to front end users, all that kind of great stuff that we're going to be building into our fantasy product. So we're just getting started, Dean, but as you can see, it's, it's getting there and you know, there's new product features rolling out every single week on this platform. Yeah. It's incredible. I want to point out uh, one of the, a couple of the things. So we were just on the dashboard here at ownersbox.com right now. If you go to deanblundell.com and you click on the owner's box logo at the top, you'll see my boy drew Uh, click on him and you'll be pushed through to this little thing where you can register. Uh, And if you deposit owner's box right now, now we'll give you up to a $50 deposit match. So if you put in 50 up to 50 bucks, that's what they'll do 25, 25. That's how that works. So uh, it's free money. You get a chance to play for money this weekend. You've got a full slate of games. You have now the, the, the tech to be able to pick and choose which players you want to use multiple contests, multiple entries. We'll get to the lobby in just a second. Before we leave the dashboard, explain these contests, like the, the two, the four, the 16 and the weeks real quick. Like how, how does that work for people that haven't used this uh, tech before? For sure. So for our first time users, just to understand quickly, I'll, I'll break it down for you. So, you know, our whole goal was to blend the season long fantasy experience, your Yahoo, your ESPN platforms, with your DraftKings FanDuel daily experience. So for our two team, we offer four different size contests. Our two team contests are head to head one week contests. You play one person head to head, you draft a live against them. And then you play over the course of seven days. And at the end of those seven days, you get paid out. In our four team contests, you play four people, you play head to head against one person. If you win week one, you get paid out and you play in the championship. 
in our team contest. It's three weeks long, same format, March Madness bracket style elimination format where you'd play week one, you win, you advance, play week two, you win, you advance and you get paid. And then you play week three in the championship and you obviously win the big pot. So there's also our 16 team, which is our last size. And that's the biggest one we offer, which is a lot like season long, but there's a lot of, you know, short-term payouts that happen between then that are better than the season long experience. So you play over four weeks. Um, and if you win your first three weeks, you get paid out twice and then you win in the championship and you get paid out. So we offer contest types of all different lengths. And that's kind of our whole model is to give users uh, options. You know, you know, if you want to play in a quick contest for one week, play for some good money, you can do that. And if you want to play in a little longer contest, um, you can do that as well. So that's kind of our whole model here at owner's boxes to offer this flexibility. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Um, and, and and not just the flexibility, but the ability to run your own leagues. You know, if you've, if you're, you're doing some stuff with some pals, you want to do something for 16 weeks, you want, you're the facilitator. You can just sign everybody up and invite them with an email and owner's box tech and what you've got here at ownersbox.com will take care of everything for you keep track of that and then handle the payout as well it's uh it's awesome if you, if you haven't been there go go there now ownersbox.com specifically before the weekend um let's just get to you killing me 53 dick after uh one night last <laughs> night too that is a that is, <laughs> god that is terrible um Okay, so let's do a draft. Are you guys ready? Are we ready for this draft? Which one? Yep. Is it? So join not that one, the one to your right, the four teamer. Yep. Yeah, okay. Fill that up. Okay, so we're gonna draft. So this is this basically is what you call for, for our listeners. Yep. For our listeners, you can send out. You can join the public leagues through the lobby, or you can send out invited contests like I just did with Christian and Dean here. And you know, we want to offer both. You know, we want to let you play with your friends, but we want to. We also want to let you play against the public and you know, rank up and compete and make a name for yourself on the platform. So there's both options. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing here is a private contest between the four of us. Um, we got my intern, Jeremy, here as well. We'll be doing a little team draft. And the beauty of these drafts is they don't take two hours. The you know Our four-team draft will probably take 10 minutes, mm -hmm. um, 10 to 12 minutes at the most. Two-team drafts take anywhere from two to five minutes. So you know we offer really, really short live drafts. But we didn't want to take the live draft out of fantasy. That's like the best part. Like for me, I'm in 10 drafts a week because I love the drafting experience. I love analyzing players. Um, and their matchups on a weekly basis. So that's why, you know, we created a platform where live drafting is the premier experience um, mm -hmm. while you're on here. So hey, did you, that's did, what you'll see right now on the I, screen. I was thinking the other day, just a quick user user uh, experience, user interactive experience uh, tip here. Or not even a tip, just a suggestion. You should do these like speed rounds. You, you give people like, what is it, 60 seconds to make a pick? You should do, give them like five. <laughs> Five. That would yeah. Dean. Really know, that's fucking insane, Dean. I don't that's know. Low, Dean. That's, that's low. some rookie. That's some rookie. That's spoken like a true fantasy sports rookie, Dean. <laughs> I, I couldn't even fucking spell my name in five seconds, let alone pick a guy for a for money contest. Okay, so, so, so we let's, could do a speed round, but it'd probably have to be more around 20, 30 seconds. Let me let me uh let me go through this real quick. Um here we go. We've got now we've got every position player. Uh you can pick quarterback because you're you're gonna start drafting here in a second. Sean, stop stop touching my computer. Um you got a quarterback, wide running back, wide receiver, tight end, kicker, D. So this is the deal here is is that you can actually click on this. It's just gonna bring up your quarterbacks for the week. It's just gonna bring up your running backs for the week. If you want to select them all it'll bring up every fucking player so when you're drafting early in the rounds this is why i love this feature um because if you start if you're learning like some people on this call not named you guys uh you don't want to draft quarterbacks first right so all these things this this whole thing here is a you can put them all in the queue so i want running backs right or, or wide receivers i really like alvin Kamara this week yeah, actually, I like Dalvin Cook. So I'm going to take Dalvin Cook, and, and he's going to appear then in my queue. Uh, I also like Derrick Henry. I also like Alvin Kamara. I also like Chase Edmonds. I also like James Robinson. So what I'm going to do is take those. And, and listen, I'm just doing this to show people. Um, but there's a four-person draft. I've got a few quarterbacks that I like. I'm probably going to get one of them. So I'll leave those guys in my queue. Then I move on to the wide receivers. Am I doing this right? Am I showing people the right way to do this? Yeah, so I just want to add another thing here. So, Dean, when you know the whole thing about fantasy sports is you have to understand the player. You have to understand how they're performing week over week in our format. So if you actually click on – just click on DeAndre Hopkins' name for a second for me. Click on his name. Yeah. Click on his like go over. Yep. Yeah, right there. So that will pop up his player card. So this is another cool feature we offer is the most, it's a very diverse player card that lets you show. So you see his game log there. You can see how he's performing week over week, who he's playing, how many fantasy points he's put up this advanced scouting report, the season stats, 
um, all that kind of good stuff here that you'll need to know because this stuff matters in a weekly format um, more than it does in the daily. You got to see the matchups. You got to really understand who's playing who, you know, when you can take advantage of some players over others. And this is kind of our goal is to have a one-stop shop for players. So they don't have to leave the platform in order to get this data. So this is what the player card is. Sandy, we're it's very diverse. Draft, by the way. Yeah, we're, we are. Oh, we're drafting uh, Dean, now. Dean, who are you picking, man? Uh, I'm going to take yeah. Dalvin Cook. You got Dean, don't left, my guy. pick a quarterback. I'm not picking pick a quarterback. quarterback <laughs> I'm not taking a quarterback. You always tell me not to take a quarterback. So I'm not taking a quarterback. I'm taking Dalvin Cook. Gets the Lions. I like that. Uh, now that's, some you- insider, that's some insider trading for our new users. Yeah. Never McCaffrey take a Gange. Love it. That's not me. I'm fourth. Never, uh, never take total a quarterback. Wizards, of course. First. Shout out, Jer. Is that what we're doing Mara. with a four man team? Never take a quarterback. Don't hate it. I don't take quarterbacks. I don't take quarterbacks in the first two rounds in any of my leagues, but that's, Hey, that's my strategy. There's no perfect strategy. I found success doing the no QBs, you know, going running back receiver um, early. I mean, even tight ends. Um, if it's a solid one, like Kelsey. Yeah. Um, I just went, I just Hopkins, Metcalf, there. Hawk. Yeah. yeah you, you can do that too. Running backs. I'm going to try and lock down two top receivers. That's my thought process there. Julio. Now, now let's 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 school the people. You don't you don't want to take two receivers from the same team, correct? Because last and and by the way, I swapped out uh, Metcalf from last week because I had yeah. Metcalf and Lockett. <laughs> so Why you, would you swap Metcalf over Lockett, Dino? Come on now. Uh, I don't know. It just felt like the thing to do. Uh, I might as well take. You ended the, up beating Avery though. You beat you beat Avery doing that. So I can't I hate like you won the week. So, but you're you're gonna lose to me, unfortunately. I hate to say it, dude. I just took uh, Lockett and Kelsey. I think those are two great picks this week. Kelsey's a beast. Yeah. Kelsey's a beast for sure. Still no quarterback. Did you guys like like Gange, are you paying attention to how I'm picking here? Take some notes. I am. Hey. (laughs) Dean Dean talking that smack. I love it. I'm gonna put a little I love it. I love it. I'm gonna put a little sprinkle on the on the the, on Russell Wilson later too, maybe. (laughs) A little sprinkle. Do 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 to do. Stefan Diggs. I'm hammering the over in the game. Therefore, I'm taking a Bills player. Let's go. I'm, not, I'm, so I'm gonna take my running Sorry, Jair. Sorry, I stole your Bills, your Bills Brave Nation pick. guy. Brave pick. Chase Edmonds. I love him this week. Great in PPR. All right. Also, a quick note for the listeners. Our, Josh, all our Jacobs. leagues are PPR, which means point per reception. So you want to get running backs who catch passes. That's why, you know, Gage picking Edmonds is a great pick there. So shout out you for that one, Gage. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Where do you find James the PPR? Connor, come to Papa. Where do you find PPR of each player? Is it on no, the P- actual? No, no, no PPR. Well, you can see the receptions right there. If you if you oh, go yeah, yeah, toggle yeah, yeah. over okay. running backs, Dean. Yep. If you filter, yep, filter yep. a running back, and then you can click like click uh J- see James Robinson or yeah, just click James Robinson. Mm-hmm. Go to his reception. So he gets four catches in the last few games. You can see down below in the in the game log down there. So he's a good PPR player. Look at that. Four, mm-hmm. four, five, four, six. Like this guy's a great draft pick in our format because he catches a ton of passes. So I would take him. Are you are you jacking me around just so I take him and he sucks? Is that why? Is that what no, you're doing? I'm not. Look at his stats. Oh, Numbers don't lie, Dean. He's solid. I'm trying to the Jags nowhere, suck. But he's, yeah. he's legit. I'm trying to Oh, it's my turn again. I can see no, your screen, so I know who you're thinking, Dean. I it's think kind of hilarious. <laughs> I think he's got yeah, a big week. I, I, I mean, I told waited. you I like the Texans this week, so. I know I should have waited. And another cool feature, Dean. What? Dean, show the chat feature. Look at, we're chirping you in the chat down below. We have a Facebook-style chat system as well um, in the group to your left right there. If you go to, yeah, contest. Oh, this one. Yeah, right there. Dean, you're up. We're you chirping you, Dino. Off. Eat it. This is and yeah, you can chirp the whole time. You can call your friends' names. I'm not going to do it here because I, I'm I'm an above board individual. Um, we can swear at each other, but I'm probably not going to do it uh, very much. So there you go. <laughs> Russell. Oh, who took this Russell? My guy. The teaser I king. Every draft I do. That's me. Mm-hmm. TJ. Oh, he's hot. I love Hawkinson this I week. I love TJ, bro. I, I have him in our season long league, Gange. Hey, here's I'll a question. Patty. Oh, you do? Yeah, you know he's, I got him last year, I think. He's a stud. Plashkis, you know the uh, the little sound effect that goes off when it's your turn to draft? Is Was there any psychology behind picking that noise? Because when I'm away from my computer and I'm in a draft, like, like that noise right there, I run back to my computer like something exciting is going to happen. Exactly. I think the draft noise, it's pretty <laughs> widespread across the industry. Everyone has their, you know, unique sound. Um, you got yeah. to have that in certain formats. So sometimes I'll be, you know, like, 
texting or doing some other shit while I'm waiting for my pick. So yeah. it's a nice little reminder to see like, you know, I'm up again. So get right back in the lab and start picking. So that's kind of why we do it. God damn it, boys. Who am I taking? T- Terry McLaurin? I like him. Don't blow it, Dino. Don't say that. Scary Terry. Don't say that. Let me check. Is that what we Avery no, or no, no, Jer no, in the no, chat. No. Look what he said. He goes, Dean. No, no, no. He goes, no. Dean, your knowledge is of a three year old. That's what he said. How did you respond to Jeremy on that, Dean? Uh, no, that was an OB. That was, that was Dean or that was fucking uh, Jeremy. Roacher. He's like 5'4, so I'm not going to say anything super nasty about him. <laughs> <laughs> he's also in a complicated relationship. Is he really? As well. So he's oh, dealing with is a lot his right girlfriend, now. Is his yeah. girlfriend taller than him? Probably, eh? I don't know. We might have to bring him into the, we might have to bring him in right now and ask him. She's probably. <laughs> you know who I'm not fucking taking this week? Is Gotstowski. He that what happened? Uh, he sucks ass. Oh my god! Every time I take Steve so that dude drives me fucking crazy. Is what he does. Uh, he's yeah. He he's just he's he's so risky right now in our format. I would not pick him personally. He's had some games though this year where he's probably like four or five field goals, but he definitely he'll have a dud when the dud comes. How much Darius research do you normally Leonard of the Colts? How much how much research do you normally uh oh you can see who I'm picking. Oh my god, you just <laughs> yeah. Gange. Dude, I just put him in my queue. Like the second I put him in my queue, you snatched him. Were you actually? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I have my screen up. I might be looking at you, so you Anybody... might not believe me, but Dean, I don't think anyone wants to look up like your Martinez. screen anyway. Anybody got yeah, Warner? Don't worry, or... I'm not taking your picks. <laughs> Fred played already, played yet yeah, last, last night. night. So he was not in this week. Yeah. Sandy, you remember we went against Fred Warner in passing league back in the day? Yeah, he's from SD that Products, dude just baby. bullied me for a whole day. It was Yeah, he's an absolute unit, that guy. Yeah. Now he's just like one of the best linebackers in football. Don't blow it, Dean. Don't say that. Do it again. You're making me crazy. Don't blow it, Dean. Don't blow it. Whatever you do, of course I'm going to fucking blow it. Is Chenner Dean your knowledge is of a three year old? Oh, that was that's old. That's Jer. <laughs> All right. You can you're having a little hard time over there. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm struggling. TJ Watt. <laughs> he upvoted it. <laughs> oh man, good stuff. <laughs> that is a man. Good stuff. Let's see here. The end. Like. My last wrap around. Perfect. Everybody's got to start so, somewhere. See how Chandler. quick these drafts are, Dean? Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. See how quick these drafts are. It's. Uh, I will tell you after, but I would think no longer than like six minutes, seven minutes. We're yeah, almost done. I'm, I'm now. I'm done. Oh, so. oh dude, Gange, Young Hu Ku, bro. You're really gonna swipe him for me, you bastard. Ah, uh, dude, I had that bastard. Gotta love that he's guy. He's so good. He's Young a he's Huku, a legend back here. He is. Dino taking Jamal, and then after you do the draft, this is the injured. fun part. It's kind of like a rush. The little roulette wheel comes up and it tells you who you play. You'll see right now. Um, hopefully, I get to play Dean. Please let me play Dean. Oh, I'm playing Gange. Oh, Gange. Let's go. Let's get it, Sandy. It's so, on, Gange. So, Chenner, fucking go. Chenner's, Chenner's yapping me in the message box here, and he's and he's upvoting me having no knowledge. But what Chenner isn't saying is I've played him twice, and I've beat the shit out of him twice. Like, it's he's 0 for 2 <laughs> against me. So, he's... He's yamming, he's talking, he's running his yap, he's saying stuff, and only we can see it. But Chenner, apart from having this like uh, white minivan mustache, <laughs> um, has nothing on me. He's got nothing. I played him twice. Both <laughs> times I've killed him, and I'm going to play him here again. And I'm favored to win 146-131, and I just did this in my sleep. Like, it, it, we, we just sat on it. <laughs> we're, live, we're live streaming, no prep. No prep, it's just my innate knowledge and inert or whatever of, of NFL football and how it works. So yap me all you like Chenner, but I'm going to delete you again this week. There we go. <laughs> hey, that's the best part about this. And if you delete them for the third time, you can play them again any single time next week as well. So that's what keeps the rivalries going on the platform. And that's the whole model we have here is, you know, 
create those rivals with your friends, show you who's boss, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, why it. Sandy Sandy beat me tw- in two separate contests last week. So this yeah. is you're on a redemption right tour, baby. I'm on a redemption, redemption tour, tour this week. I feel real good about it. Okay, explain <laughs> something to me. This gold coin above uh, Gange's score, my score, my projected score. So that means I'm probably going to win. That's that's so the tech the- saying. Listen, the guy with the gold coin is probably going to kick the other guy's ass. Is that correct? No. So the gold coin, what it means is it's called the coin cost and it randomizes between the two mat between the matchups. So it's basically if, if you and Jeremy were to tie in your matchup, say you guys both finished with 140 points, the gold, whoever had the gold coin would get the win because it's randomized and because you can't tie in our format because that's who would get paid out in that scenario. Right. Smart. So in our case, if you tie the guy with the coin gets the, gets the payout. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of a, we haven't even seen a tie. I've yet to see a tie in NFL. So I can't really tell you, but how that feels to tie and get the coin or not get the coin. But yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a rush. If you get the coin, it's definitely a bonus for you. So it's basically, it's like a half point head start, Sandy, pretty much. Basically. Right? Yes. Correct. Yeah. Got you. Thanks for bringing okay. down. I just thought okay, it meant, man, I got the coin. I just thought it meant the computer knew that I was probably going to just do, like absolutely captivate Roacher this weekend, like destroy him. <laughs> So, it's gonna be a good one, Dean. We're yeah, gonna have to get another draft going. We have like three other ones going, but we'll we'll do another okay, one. For no, the as soon as we sure. get off, as soon as we get off, I want to do uh, I want to do one like a, just a five dollar uh, cash money draft with you guys. So that that's that's what I want to do next. Let's go. As soon as we get off, like a real money Let's draft. Go. So we're gonna do that coming up in a minute. Go to ownersbox.com. Uh, go get registered. This is fun, man. The drafts, and you can do as many as you want. You can get that spike of adrenaline in your system. You can let these guys take care of your business. You can educate yourself. You can play for real money or owners bucks. Go get verified and they'll give you five more owners bucks right now real bucks um but what you want to do to get registered go to deanblundell.com you sign up get your owners box account and when you flow through the deanblundell.com homepage and you click on the owners box ad right at the top what you're going to get is uh drew Brees right in front of you in your face and you're going to sign up and it's going to take you literally five minutes and then you're drafting like a mofo like we just did with your friends all weekend you won't actually leave your home screen that's what the dashboard's for it's awesome uh Thanks, Sandy Plashkus, Owner's Box VP of Marketing, all-around good guy, In the Box podcast on YouTube, the Owner's Box YouTube account. Check it out. You can also go to DeanBlundell.com and download it, subscribe right now. Um, haven't seen the short-term assets around. It's been kind of nice. Thanks. <laughs> we'll get him on next week, Dean. All all right. We'll get him on next week. Uh, and uh, you can find Sandy on Twitter, at Sandy Plashkus, uh, at cgange6, Christian Gange, our SoCal hookup. Thanks for doing this, and good luck to USC this weekend, brother. Really, honest to God, I I hope they win. I mean, appreciate it. Yeah, just for you and your I family. I just hope they win. I hope that I hope they cover. Hope they win. <laughs> yeah. Hope they cover. And the Gange pal, and every one of the Gange last name will be happy. So good teams win. For. Great teams cover, Dean. That's how that's you live. Uh, that's, that's it right there. Sandy. That's where I'll we'll end it. off. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you both, Sandy Plash, because Christian Gange, both from DeanBlundell.com and OwnersBox.com. Weekly fantasy sports. They got payouts. Man, do they got payouts. They got payouts, more payouts than anybody. You can do it every week. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm dying to get into this money draft right now. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, you can check us out at DeanBlundell.com. You can also find us on DeanTube, YouTube. Just put in DeanTube. Go subscribe today. That would be great. We'd appreciate that. We're trying to build the YouTube thing up because apparently I haven't been paying attention to it. You can only pay attention to so many platforms at one time. Okay? I'm busy. Um, but you can get us there. You can get us on, uh, at it's Dean Blundell on Twitter, D Blundell show, the official account of Dean Blundell.com as well. And sign up for our newsletter, Dean Blundell.com. You can get all these podcasts and more. Um, also I would be remiss if I didn't point out my friend, Christian Gange news, his new podcast is very first at Dean Blundell.com. He has a wannabes podcast called the wannabes podcast. Um, and if you go and download it, pretty sure he'll come to your house and, uh, set up your Wi-Fi for you. The first five people, he said, that's what he's going to do. He's going to come and sort out your Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, uh, it's a great podcast, and uh, go and check it out, and, and we'll get to it. I just haven't had a chance to uh, spend a lot of time on it, but especially this one. But if you've listened to any of their podcasts previously, you'll know what I'm talking about. Gange and his crew are fucking great, smart, young, good group of lads that love themselves. Some SoCal football. Oh, that's it for us. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks to Blue Microphones. Sign up for the... Uh, Blue Microphone shows your pod contest at dmlundell.com. Uh, you could be added to the network. You might you might be one of our partners, content providers. That's what we call them in the biz. <laughs> so cheesy. The biz. That's what we call them.
Um, but we want to hear your podcast. All you do is go to DeanBlundell.com, the blue microphone's uh, logo there. You click on it. You leave a link for your podcast. We'll go listen to it. You don't have to really do anything. Coming up in like an hour, we're going to talk to the guys from the That Toronto Podcast, one of the 400 entries we've had. 400. Can you believe that? Everybody wants to podcast. And we want to hear them. Because that's the nice thing to do. So, Blue Microphone's going to set you up with all new podcast equipment. And uh, if you're the winner, you're also going to join the network. And uh, it's a legit business. You're going to be a business person. Content will be your business. Go to DeanBlundell.com for more information on the Blue Microphone. Show us your pod contest. Blue Microphone's the official microphone of the DeanBlundell.com podcast network. And, of course, our friends at Owner's Box Fantasy Sports. Go get it. Go do all the things we just showed you how to do. I don't feel like I need to tell you any more about them other than they're great fucking people and you get to have fun with them every week. So go do that. Go get your account by going to DeanBlundell.com right now. And to add at Ed's Fine Imports, uh, if you buy three pairs of Gitch, you get one free. Use promo code Gitch3 at checkout. There you go. There's his Gitch. It's got the nice pouch in the front. It's got the boxer brief look. It's nice and, it's nice and snug, but it's not too snug because it's like really soft, stretchy stuff too. So everything kind of just stays in place, but it's not onerous down there. It's not a burden. They're luxury underwear, and if you want four pairs of them and you only want to pay for three, that's a great deal. Edsfindimports.com. Ed's gitch. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day uh, and a great weekend. We will uh, see you next week. Bye. What's up? Good shit.